Catherine, I, I just... Your answer, it didn't satisfy me much. Frankly, I expected you to be a little more uh, protective towards other women. Uh, maybe I wanted an apology, not libel. Do, do women not have as many virtues as well as vices? I, I guess I see your point that being treated like big children has caused women to become masters of manipulation rather than the creatures in charge with their own minds. But what about other places in the world? Surely you can't be suggesting that we go back to being treated like slaves, as women are in some of the developing nations. Would you rather men be sincere about their attitudes towards women to treat us like the lesser creatures they think we really are? You're right about vices, certainly. But many people have written so before, bemoaning the state of women's moral education. But Catherine, not one of this class of writers has laid down any judicious rules for amendment. It's not enough to say that I should avoid the bad. You said so yourself. I must also teach them to embrace the good. But how am I to do this? That's the question I'm asking, and I've only got Rousseau for the answering, and oh, Rousseau. Rousseau writes that educators ought to keep girls busy doing things so that they don't have a chance to be idle or subordinate. He says they should be accustomed to restraint, never to be bored, lest they wander off and try to think up something new. God forbid they use their heads. I'm not angry with you, Catherine. I'm just frustrated. I've begun tutoring this week, and there are several promising girls in my charge. Two of them, a pair of sisters, remind me actually a bit of us. And one bold adventure and one studious mouse. They don't half get into trouble if I don't watch them. Bless them. Oh, I only want to do what is right by them. Let them be great minds and forward thinkers, not empty-headed babies the rest of their lives. As Rousseau says, they will be called to govern. As mothers of this infant nation, to teach their daughters and sons, the next generation of Americans, their impact will last generations. I must teach them well. Anyway, I do hope you are well, Catherine, and I'll speak to you soon. Hortensia.